-huh. A royal wedding fit for a future king. Prince William and Kate Middleton riding in an open carriage, waving and wowing more than a million people on the streets and outside Buckingham Palace. A marriage sealed with a kiss and watched by billions around the world. A commoner becomes royalty. And the boy prince, whose mother was taken away far too soon, now as a man, finds his mate. What a day. Good evening, everyone. At 6 o'clock, I'm Bill Vitter. And I'm Liz Cho here in London. And Bill, you said it. What a day here. It was truly spectacular, and it went off without a hitch. Right now, the second more intimate reception at Buckingham Palace is underway with about 300 family members and friends. Prince William changed into a tuxedo. Kate, a second white gown, also designed by Sarah Burton. The party, the culmination of what has truly been a thrilling and historic day. Kate Middleton emerged from her Rolls Royce outside Westminster Abbey and before the world went from middle class girl next door to queen in waiting. Holding her father's hand, Kate looked composed and relaxed and made the four minute walk down the aisle. Her Cinderella story, now an historic moment. It was a who's who of wedding guests. 1,900 people filled the Abbey, including dignitaries from 180 countries around the world and celebrities, including Victoria and David Beckham, as well as Elton John and David Furnish. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. And in a break with tradition and perhaps following in Princess Diana's footsteps, Kate did not pledge to obey William in her vows. Instead, to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee honor. With my body I thee honor. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. I pronounce that they be man and wife together. The newlyweds emerged as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and were greeted by cheers of joy and a chorus of church bells that rang in celebration for three hours. The procession to Buckingham Palace epitomized the height of British pomp and pageantry. And William and Kate seemed to soak up every moment. Following close behind the couple, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, who were guarded by trooper Denton John, the only American and native New Yorker whose job is to protect the Queen. It was then onto the balcony at Buckingham Palace, flanked by the royal family and the Middletons. William and Kate delighted the enormous crowd that stretched from the mall all the way down to Trafalgar Square with not just one kiss, but two. The pair then wowed the crowds once again, ducking out of the Queen's luncheon in a vintage Aston Martin. Prince driving his new bride to Clarence House, the license plate read, just wed. And that was really just quite a charming scene for everyone here. Now, more than a million spectators lined the streets here in London, not only to be part of history, but also to catch a glimpse of Kate's dress. The details about it were such a well-kept secret. Well, tonight we know everything about it, and everyone is weighing in. I want to reporter Kimberly Richardson continues our coverage with that camera. Well, Liz, it was talked about. People pet placed bets and speculated about who was designing Kate's wedding gown. Many even thought she would wear some type of shawl to cover the gown as she rode to Westminster Abbey this morning. That didn't happen, and so the court of public opinion was officially in session. What did you think of Kate's dress and her hair? Just Kate. That from an insider who sat just a few feet from the bride as she glided down the aisle here inside Westminster Abbey. Those outside were also mesmerized by her gown, what had been one of the best kept secrets of the wedding. The kind of wedding dress I think a lot of people might have thought she'd wear. Very delicate, very lacy, veil covering her face. Um, she, looked, she looked absolutely beautiful. The gown that even Prince William resisted the urge to sneak a peek at as Kate walked towards him. It was created by designer Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen, who today revealed she was delighted that the dress represented the best of British craftsmanship. Were you surprised by the dress? Uh, no, not really. We thought it would be something like that. It was not too flamboyant and not too much over the top. 
Kate wore her hair down, and those who thought she would opt to sprinkle flowers in her tresses, well, they were disappointed. She chose a tiara, the Cartier Halo, borrowed from the Queen. I was really pretty. I really liked it. It was like it suited her when she had her veil down in the car. It was really nice. The next chapter in this love story. Finally, it's unfolding before your very eyes. And you just couldn't help but get stirred with a little bit of emotion and shed a couple of tears and then you feel your little hands trembling. That still has many more to come. Are you hoping this is your true fairy tale story? Yes, and I think you'll make a lovely king and queen as well. Well, it's a royal couple that many now hope to soon see have children. Liz? That will be quite new when if that <laughs> does happen. Kimberly, thank you. Yes. Well, there is still one more secret that has yet to be revealed. Where are Prince William and Kate going on their honeymoon? We do know that they are leaving bright and early tomorrow morning. But as to where they are going, the palace is not saying. In fact, there are rumors that Kate doesn't even know where she will be vacationing. Sounds quite romantic, don't you think, Bill? It does indeed. I, I'm not so sure they want to have that secret get out, but I suspect it will get out, Liz. Thank you very much. We'll see you back here at 11 o'clock. You know, for Anglophiles here intent on watching the wedding 3,500 miles and five time zones away, it meant getting up before sunrise, way before sunrise. And some folks turned the early wake-up call into something of a royal party, like a group of women in New Jersey you're about to meet. I would just Darla Miles was with them. Hello, Queen. Hello. <laughs> White gloves, fancy hats, pajamas, even a real star sapphire and diamond ring. My husband gave me this when Diana got married. Who says the best seat to the royal wedding is in Buckingham Palace? This watch party in Franklin Township, New Jersey, is hosted by Queen Gloria. And that's part of what the Red Hats do, only fun things. Um, and the rest of them thought, are you crazy? 5.30 in the morning? I'm not getting up for anybody at that hour. Those who did were served well with hot coffee and tea, cupcakes, even a wedding cake. This royal wedding has its own royal invitation from Queen Gloria, royal response cards and even royal favors with the colors of a British flag. As if she were their own daughter or granddaughter, they nervously watched Kate Middleton's four-minute walk down the aisle, then toasted the bride and groom. I'm glad we saw it firsthand at the time and not record it. It was really interesting because everybody's seen something different. So uh, you, that way you, you got the whole picture. If you're watching it by yourself, your mind might wander. When asked who had more fun, the Brits or the Red Hats? I think we are. <laughs> In Franklin Township, New Jersey, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. I admit it, I don't get the hats. but. People like them. You can watch more of these amazing pictures and videos of today's royal wedding on our website, by the way, 7online.com. And a reminder, tonight at 9.